What's up? How are you guys today? I'm going to show you what I eat when I basically have no time whatsoever. It's around six in the morning right now. I'm getting ready to basically spend the whole day at work because we got to move some stuff over to our new location. So I'm probably not going to be home until like six or seven at night at the earliest. As usual, what I do in the morning when I wake up is have some masticum and I hydrate. This kind of gets my digestion moving and I actually feel clearer too in, in both the head and body. So we got about half a teaspoon of masticum. Guys, this is available on organsupplements.com or gigachadgum.com. You grind it up into a powder and it has honestly completely saved my digestion. I don't know what I would have done if I didn't find out about this stuff. Sometimes I'll take magnesium too, occasionally vitamin C, but masticum consistently every morning. So let me show you guys what I'm packing up for breakfast and lunch because I don't like eating first thing in the morning. You know, I don't like forcing myself. I'm not really trying to gain too much weight anymore. So I did the work last night because I wasn't planning on waking up this early in the morning. So here in this, we have a bagel with some macadamia nut butter. I'll show that to you guys in a second. Here we just have a honey crisp apple sliced up. I put it in like parchment paper and plastic wrap. And then in here, we just have some ground Iberico pork tenderloin and kind of mashed potato bean puree, which is just uh, white potatoes peeled with white cannellini beans. And I just puree those together to form like mashed potato. So it's half beans, half potatoes. Nice balance of fiber and starch for energy. And then we got the Iberico pork for the protein. This is gonna be lunch and we'll have some bread with it. So I finally bought a lunch box instead of carrying all my stuff around in a paper bag. I feel like a kid again. I haven't packed lunch like this in I don't know how many years. So this is just a tin of masticum. I'll show you guys. We got the masticum ground into a powder here. I did this last week, but it's kind of sticking and melting together already. So normally I'll just grind this fresh like the day before or the day of lunch, because after a few days to a week, it, it starts solidifying. And we're gonna take uh, some vitamin B1 with us. I usually take this with most meals. So I will use an ice pack because in the summer, this food will go bad <laughs> sitting around for just a few hours in the hot car. Uh, so we'll keep the meat and potatoes cold. We've got our apple. And we have our bagel. Usually I'll have like half the apple for breakfast and half the apple for lunch. So with our lunch, we're gonna have an organic ciabatta roll. I found these, Bread Alone makes ciabatta rolls too. These are very, very delicious. Usually I warm them up in the oven and then I'll have them uh, with lunch, but we don't have the luxury of that. So I'm just gonna take a kitchen towel, put the bread in it and then throw it in the lunch box. So that's everything all packed up. Now we just need some utensils. So all I really need is a fork for lunch and then I'll just wrap this up in an extra kitchen towel to have. Sometimes I like bringing some pieces of paper towel just to help wipe my face sometimes. So for breakfast, Bread Alone also makes these bagels, everything bagels. I don't actually like these. I like the, the Mighty Bagels brand more. Um, these just taste a little fresher. And then on those bagels, we put some roasted macadamia nut butter. This is from Vore. Uh, only company that sells it roasted, which has less anti-nutrients. I don't like the raw stuff that much, but it's okay still. And then what I'll do to that is, uh, well, we packed up all our honeys and stuff. I think they're over here. Yeah, we have the Spanish honeys available on frankiestrangefoods.com. So what I do is I mix in about one part honey to three parts macadamia nut butter. And then I spread that on the bagel for breakfast. So we have our lunch. Carhartt lunch bag. I think it was pretty expensive, but it had good reviews on it. So we got everything packed up and ready. Most of the time I will eat if I pack it up. Sometimes I won't. It depends on how the day goes and how I feel. Like if I'm lacking energy, I'll usually force myself to eat breakfast regardless. Like, so if it's six o'clock now, maybe around uh, 10 30, 10 45 when I'm driving over to PA, I'll probably have breakfast. I don't think I'm going to eat it before. Um, we pack everything up and head over and then maybe I'll have lunch when I'm over there in the warehouse kind of waiting to do some other stuff. Um, but that's really it guys. I'm going to get going with my work day. Uh, we have basically everything we need uh, with the exception of a few bottles of water, which I will have in my car with me. 
Um, I think one bottle of water does fit in that uh, lunch bag, but that's the only thing I haven't showed you guys. One thing I don't show you guys a lot is that I always wear EMF protective clothing. So I have on a long sleeve shirt and I have on a, a t-shirt that we have on wifi shielding.com, a tank top shirt. And especially when it's like a long day and I'm at work all day, I protect my whole body and I try to like wear the head net in the car sometimes when I'm driving and getting blasted by the towers or I'll wear the hat most of the day. Um, I mean, honestly, if there's like an easy way to shield your head, I'd probably just feel so much better in general. Uh, however, with the body, usually that keeps me like pretty physically energized and I don't have to worry about it. You guys know we talk about it a lot. I always get some fresh air. I have a fan blowing in the window from outside to keep the CO2 levels low. And I'm also gonna ground for a little bit uh, before we go on about our day. Guys, I'm already fucking shot. It's 6.15 in the morning, they hasn't even started. Maybe when I breathe in some brake fumes on the way to work, it'll stimulate my uh, neurotransmitters and wake me up. Uh, so I'm actually just gonna uh, do an iodine nasal flush now, feel a little congested, and then we'll um, take some magnesium too. That usually tends to wake me up. So this is just a glass bottle of mineral water. Uh, we put a bit of iodine in it from Morgan Supplements. And you want to feel the water go down the back of your throat. And then you'll feel your ears open up. And then you could also like gargle some in the back by your tonsils. That's that. Yeah, I've never drank coffee. I have some emergency chocolate in my car if I'm like falling asleep driving. But the reason that usually happens is... Like if you hold your pee in a lot, sometimes it makes you drowsy. I don't know why, this is what I noticed. We're back in the kitchen. I'm just gonna take two magnesium capsules, which is 200 milligrams. So because I eat a pretty high volume of food, you know, with the muscle mass and the working out and cause I'm like a pig, <laughs> um, it's important to take the magnesium every day as my sodium and potassium intake is super, super high. So, kind of slacking on the magnesium and calcium a bit so we we'll usually feel a little better after we take that yeah i've told you guys a few times now like ever since i moved to this new place i haven't had one good night of sleep i mean you, you can, like my eye bags do not look too healthy right now you can probably hear the traffic there is like a, a pretty major roadway right here so between like the air quality the emf radiation my neighbor smoking like the reason i don't feel that great is <laughs> solely because i just haven't been sleeping that's that's really been it uh, i've tried just about everything but hopefully when we move soon um i'll start sleeping better in the new place otherwise we're fucking disappearing to puerto rico or some shit because i just fucking can't function look in in the context of how little i've slept this past year i think uh i think i look and feel pretty good but it's definitely uh deteriorating my quality of life substantially you know, I haven't been able to do as many videos as I've wanted to do. Haven't had the energy to do anything. So, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We're heading over to PA now and... Turn left onto Hutchinson River Parkway East. Then turn left onto the Hutchinson River Parkway ramp. Although I should probably... There's an eight minute slowdown on Hutchinson River Parkway North in four miles. You are still on the best route. Shut the fuck up. So I should probably eat something because I know I'm going to get a headache, but... I don't want to have like a giant bagel and then have to go to the bathroom in my car because it's like a three hour drive. So uh, when there's like an hour left, maybe around noon, we'll have our, our bagel and our breakfast. So it's like 11 in the morning. I'm starting to get a little bit of a headache. So I'm going to kind of force myself to have this bagel while I'm driving over. Uh, it's a three hour drive. I always say to myself like a three hour drive isn't that bad. And then like half an hour in, I'm already dying. <laughs> I'm not really gonna show you guys this because I'm kind of driving, but we got our uh, bagel with macadamia nut butter and honey on it. And then I'm gonna have half of the apple with some vitamin B1 and just some water. Uh, I don't think I can take the mastic on while I'm driving like this. It's gonna make too much of a mess, but um, I'm gonna turn the camera off and try to be as careful as possible while I'm eating. And uh, we'll see you guys when we're uh, at the warehouse. Yeah, bro, I'm getting sick of this diet. <laughs> I would love to scarf down a bacon, egg, and cheese right now if it wasn't going to destroy my liver. Bro. Bacon, egg, and cheese. 
ketchup, salt, pepper. Oh. So I had like half the bagel and the whole apple and some meat one, hydrated a little bit. I'm not looking forward to eating lunch later, dude. It's gonna be cold, cold pork and cold mashed potatoes. Like, we'll see, we'll see. Guys, this is kind of being filmed in conjunction with the uh, moving vlog that we're gonna post next week. So um, I'm just kind of keeping the food in this. If you guys wanna know like how this day went and what I did, uh, just keep an eye out next week for the moving vlog. So it's three o'clock, my head is fucking killing me. We are in our <laughs> new business location, Frank Boulder Grocery Store, and we'll talk more about that next week in the moving vlog and the tour of the new place but i think i said it once already my head is fucking killing me i have a bad headache despite eating breakfast but i should have probably had some protein so um we're gonna sit down and have our lunch or we're not gonna sit down i'm gonna fucking stand here right, i should just go sit in that chair over there and stop complaining like a little girl so i got my organic roll i got my ground iberical pork tenderloin with potato bean puree we ate all of the apple earlier, so all we have left is like half a bagel. I was just gonna throw it out. Let's see how bad this is cold. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Every time I do these three hour car rides, yeah, I get a headache. I be it's the towers on the highway. I'm gonna relax here, guys. Enjoy my liver detox lunch hopefully my head starts feeling better and then um you guys can watch the moving vlog next week to see more about that but i think um i think i might film dinner when i get home i'm not sure yet all right guys it's 10 30 we just got home i'm cooking dinner we got iberico pork tenderloin ground up our white bean dip with some collagen broth and our udon noodles. So we're having like a pork udon noodle big bowl with uh, plenty of fiber in those white beans. I'm going to chop up an apple too and have that. And then I'm going to go to bed because I got to do that. Same thing I did today tomorrow morning. So guys, again, be sure to check out the moving vlog next week. If you want to see me lose my fucking mind while spending $20,000 at the same time. Uh, but you guys can go to frankdashtafon.com to support me through all of my businesses before I completely lose it any more days like this i might actually just disappear to some fucking island all right i'm gonna give you guys a little bonus because i have to do the same thing again today so i'll show you a slight variance in the meal prep that i'm taking with me all right so here i have a giant bowl of mastigum because i left my tin uh, at the new place we have the same meal that we had yesterday it's the iberico pork tenderloin with the mashed potato and white bean puree. And then just some more vitamin B1. Up there is actually some uh, dehydrated apples instead of the fresh apples. I'm also gonna pack the fresh apple too, except I'm just keeping this as extra in case I get hungry because I didn't have enough food yesterday. And then I wrapped up three ciabatta rolls uh, with some butter on them. So this is just bread and butter, all organic, a few rolls, maybe I'll have one or two for breakfast and then one for lunch just in a clean cloth towel. So yesterday uh, we had the bagel and just a plain roll, but today we're doing just some bread and butter instead. I think I'll enjoy that a little more. It'll be okay with my stomach. Uh, so now we'll just squeeze the fresh apple in here and that'll be that. Thanks again for joining guys. Please go to frankdestefan.com to support my businesses. I think every day, honestly, about all like the products I wanna do in the future and how much it's not only going to allow me to have a wider variety of foods in my very restrictive diet, uh, but also for you guys. So hopefully over the next few years, we can really kind of complete everything I've wanted to do and uh, have, I guess you would say the complete, I don't know. Point is there's a lot of foods I can eat. And if I had my own farm and I could feed the animals properly and do a few little things here and there, I think it'll be much more variety and, uh, you guys can enjoy it too.